Hello everyone and welcome to another fine edition of TYT Sports. Talking boxing as always with our guy Robert Exel, the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. Robert, it's been a while. I'm glad to have you on once again. Let's kick this off with Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, the two best fighters of certainly my generation that will never ever step in the ring to see one another. Here is what Manny Pacquiao said and basically calling out Floyd Mayweather and then we'll get your take. Here's what he said in a phone interview with Inquire.net. Floyd, if you're a real man, fight me. Let's do it for the love of boxing and for the fans. Let's do it not for the sake of money. Let's make the boxing fans happy. I'm not desperate to fight him just for the sake of money or material things. I'm not the one seeking this fight. Rather, it's the boxing fans all over the world. I am ready to submit myself to any kind of stringent drug testing. Above all, I challenge him to include in our fight contract that both of us will not receive anything out of this fight. We will donate all the proceeds from the fight guaranteed prize should there be any gate receipts pay-per-view and endorsements to charities around the world certainly a different take from what we have seen from Manny Pacquiao in oh I don't know a year months two years if you even want to put it as that they've gone from Olympic style drug testing now I need a 50 50 split to now let's just not make any money off of what could be a humongous fight for boxing history and ourselves and let's give it to charity now I applaud Manny Pacquiao for throwing that out the likelihood of that happening is absolutely zero but Robert Axel when you read that and when I read that quote to you what do you think well I think it sounds sounds good uh, does it sound realistic uh, no not at all I am sort of happy to hear that Pacquiao has, uh, instead of turning his swords into his sword into a plowshare, has turned his plowshare into a sword, and he's sort of fighting back. But realistically, um, it is just talk. Uh, Pacquiao is in severe need of money right now. As you know, the IRS is breathing down his neck. Uh, he can no better afford to fight for free for charity, um, really, than Mayweather is willing to fight for charity. Uh, at this point, as far as I'm concerned, this is just talk, and um, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, it depends on two people. I mean, I'm not even sure that Pacquiao is actually ready and or in a position to fight Mayweather, even though he says that he wants to fight May Mayweather, says be a man. I mean, that sounds great, but realistically, it's just talk. Uh, now, let me ask you this. From what we have seen from Manny Pacquiao, I would not say that he looked amazing in his last fight against Brandon Bam Bam Rios. He looked good. He looked suitable. He didn't look like the same Manny Pacquiao. He looked gun shy at times. He even admitted to being hurt when it didn't appear that he was hurt in the slightest. Is this desperate talk from Manny Pacquiao or is this honestly what he believed? Look, we're not in his head. We're not in his head. But let me let me rephrase. Is this a desperation tactic from Manny Pacquiao? Yes, perhaps it is a desperation tactic, but I mean, it's sort of he might as well bang his head against the wall or piss into the wind. Uh, he <laughs> doesn't really hold the cards in, in this, you know, the make a fight that never happens or that never is, never was, and probably would never will be. Uh, Mayweather holds all the cards, and Mayweather, even though he keeps on shifting the goalposts, whether it's testing, whether it's this, whether it's that or the other thing, um, you know, until Pacquiao's contract expires with top rank, which is supposed to happen sometime in a year or so, um, Mayweather's not going to fight him. Mayweather's not going to put money in Bob Arum's pocket. I don't know what Bob Arum did to Mayweather, uh, or Richard Schaefer for that matter, but whatever it is, uh, he certainly has raised their ire, and uh, Mayweather has no interest in fighting Pacquiao until such time as Pacquiao is free from top rank and Bob Arum. Robert, you've seen a lot of fantastic fights and a lot of huge names in your day uh, covering this fine sport, the sweet science. Have you ever seen two fighters that should absolutely meet in the ring like this and just refuse to? Well, immediately comes to mind would be Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis. Uh, both of them held belts. Both of them uh, were big, uh, wonderful heavyweight champions. Uh, they fought in the amateurs, and Lewis really showed up Bo, but uh, Bo had, had grown as a, as a professional, uh, an excellent fighter, excellent in-fighter, and um, rather than fight um, Lennox Lewis when he had the opportunity, he basically dumped the belt in the trash to avoid fighting Lewis. So that's the first one really that comes to mind. Now, let me ask you this. I, I understand that you know money might be a little different from back then to now, but out of anything, these two fighters can make boxing history. They can make history by going into the ring together, fighting one another, which I think Floyd Mayweather would 
absolutely dazzle and outbox and outwork Manny Pacquiao in ways that we have seen before. I want to say that we've never seen, but we have certainly seen it before. But let me ask you this. When he is up, when, when Pacquiao's contract is up with top rank, do you really foresee a fight even happening, even when he is away from Bob Arum and top rank? I don't, but if it is ever going to happen, that is when it's going to happen. Uh, but I don't. I, I'm not, I, I think Mayweather has got four fights left on his contract with Showtime. He will have his four fights. Maybe the last fight will be Pacquiao. Maybe not, but in any event, even if they do fight, it's still five years too late. I mean, they both should have fought when they were top when they were at the top of their game. Uh, how the fight would transpire is anybody's guess. I mean, Mayweather is 38. I mean, he's not getting, or I believe he's 38. I mean, whatever, he's not getting any younger. Uh, neither, of course, is Pacquiao. But the fight is way past its to use and or to sell date, in my opinion. Now, obviously, they have both lost money by this fight not happening. But last question, and then we'll move right along. I what How I like to think about this, Robert, is I view it as if they both wanted to fight, they would fight. They would find a way, whether it's one person not taking as much money, which would obviously be Pacquiao, or what have you. I mean, how I, how I view it is, look, we can move, the, one, one fighter can move the goalposts on the other, and then one can rebuttal by moving the goalposts further or shorter, what have you. I understand that. But if they truly wanted it to happen, if they truly, truly wanted it to happen, and they wanted to please boxing fans all over, why wouldn't they have made it happen already? Fine question. And of course, I mean, you know the answer to that. Uh, the reason that it hasn't happened is because the will for, from both parties has not been there for it to happen. Why the will would be there now, after all this time, uh, is really questionable. Mayweather can make good money fighting lesser fighters. Pacquiao, he's going to fight Bradley again. What can you say? I mean, does anybody want to really want to see that fight again? But uh, top rank is sort of run out of opponents for Pacquiao. So here we have Pacquiao fighting Bradley a second time.